Hello, let's now talk about the main writing novelties and the main news concerns the introduction of a split-second chronograph, a development that was seen as an important priority by the brand when they started to produce their own movements a few years ago. So this new B03 movement is encased in the brand's iconic Navitimer collection and is therefore called the Navitimer Rattrapante, the French wording for a split-second complication. Personally, I'm a big fan of, sp uh, of split-second chronos. There's something special I really like about this complication just appeals to me. Anyhow, this watch comes in a 45mm steel or gold case. The pushers at 2 and 4 o'clock work like on any chronograph and you activate the split second function directly on the crown. And now the sweet thing about it is that it's priced at 10,200 uh, Swiss franc for the steel version with the le leather bracelet, 11,550 for the steel bracelet and a bit higher of course for the gold version limited at 200 pieces at 26,340 Swiss franc. This watch holds a power reserve of 70 hours, something very distinctive of Breitling and is water resistant to 30 meters. The other main novelty concerns the new Super Ocean, which is celebrating its 60th anniversary and this uh, three hands uh, watch with ceramic bezel now holds the Tudor manufacturer movement that we mentioned in our Tudor video a report previously published. So it comes in a variety of colors, sizes and strap and in terms of prices, well we are starting at 3,900 Swiss franc with the rubber strap and 4,490 for the steel Milanese style bracelet. Overall, you have four different colored bezel, four different colored dials and three types of strap that you can combine more or less the way you want. And this watch is water resistant to 200 meters with a power reserve of 70 hours also. So Breitling also adapted the movement to some Breitling specification. Uh, and I really think that this collaboration or partnership between Breitling and Tudor is really a clever one. Neither have to invest tons of money developing a movement that they can, on the contrary, share. You give me your three hand movement, we give you our chrono movement, while at the same time still keeping their own identity. So just a smart move, I think. And the last main timepiece uh, we will mention is a slightly different version uh, of the Avenger Hurricane introduced last year with its 24 hour display movement, the B12. The only difference concerns the color of the numerals and the strap and the fact that it's limited to 1000 pieces. And, it's, and actually the, the, the new name of this one is called the Avenger Hurricane Military. So this watch uses the bright light composite material developed by the brand. So despite being 50 millimeter wide, this watch is really light, but of course you need big wrists for it. For me, uh, for instance, it's a no go, just doesn't work. So naturally the originality of the 24 hour time indication on the dial face is something you need to get used to when you look at the uh, your time. And for info, the price of this limited edition is set at 8,685 Swiss francs. Oh yeah, and very lastly, and here you uh, you feel that they really want to make volume with this one, but they introduced a quartz called Sky Racer, also using the bright light material with a price set at 1,980 francs. So this is it for our Brightling coverage. See you soon. All the best. Yeah.